Welcome to the Wander Learn Show. I'm your host, Francis Tapon. This is the Bitcoin halving, April 19th, 2024. It's the fourth Bitcoin halving. It's happening today. And the reward is going to be dropping in half to 3.125. So that's how many Bitcoins you get every 10 minutes, or at least the, the environment gets every 10 minutes. And those are the rewards that the miners get for doing all the computation and maintaining the ledger, et cetera, all that good stuff. What I do every year around this time is look at the stock to flow model that Plan B put out. It was actually at the last halving in 2020 where I critiqued it. It was my first critique and it went quite viral, my critique of it. And then in 2022, uh, when the bear market eventually came in, then a lot of people started patting me on the back. Hey, you called it, you did, you were right. And in fact, I put out a video. I was defending the fact that, well, the model's not dead because I don't consider it dead until it's way far away from its predictions. Now, the problem with the model is that it's predictions all over the map. And we're gonna look into that right now. This is the stock to flow model, the original stock to flow model. And as you can see, it's right on track. It came, made a comeback and is right on track. And last year I said, well, it's not dead yet because it probably will get back on track because we're gonna get a bull market coming up. That's gonna pull it back on track. Listen back to what I said last year. We're gonna see that this year, it's going to be a year where the stock to flow model will become more interesting as we approach this the halving. That's going to happen about in April 2024. And when that event happens, I do predict that the price will go up dramatically. Currently, as I'm recording this at the very, very end of May 2023, the price is around 27,800 bucks. As for next year, 2024, I think it's going to be a gangbuster year. I think it's going to be a very strong year for cryptocurrencies. In 2024 and probably even into 2025 as well very robust year for both of those so i was pretty accurate in the sense that when everybody was doom and gloomy i was saying no it's going to bounce back and get back in line with the stock to flow model but here's where i say it's going to break just like i said before at 2025 or so maybe 2026 but most likely 2025 you're going to start seeing it diverge now this of course is one of the three models and we're going to go look at that and see that it's not so much on track if you use one of the more recent models that he produced produced that is plan b this one as you can see it's a little bit short it's falling a bit short it should right now the price should be according to this model 115,000, and so we're we're exact we're not there exactly um and then finally there's the he made a third model called the cross asset model, which of course I'm sure he's regretting that he ever made. And the cross asset model uh, had the $288,000 price. And you can see right here, it's way off that. Right now we should be at a price around 268,000. We're nowhere near that. And soon that model is predicting a price of $5 million. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be very nice. That would be coming in the end of 2024 five for god's sakes price of five million dollars so as you can see because he's got so many different stock to flow models he can always be right plan b can always point to whichever version is uh, useful or practical and that's again the big flaw with the entire model is that if you have a model that is going from a price of twenty thousand dollars allows for a price of twenty thousand dollars to a million dollars well to me that's not a model hey got a news flash i bet you that the bitcoin price is going to be between twenty thousand dollars and a million dollars for the next few years. Thanks, Guy. Thanks for all the uh, the brilliant analysis. This graphic here kind of shows you where I think it's going to go. Right now, we're right on the line, again, using his m oldest model, which is the one that's actually the most conservative model, uh, where the price is, has met it. I predicted at the beginning of this year, 2024, that Bitcoin would hit $80,000 sometime this year. And I still think that has a good chance of happening. And I don't think it's going to close above 80,000, although I hope it does. But here's my prediction of what I think is going to happen. At some point, you're going to see it kind of go sideways, a little bit up and down. It's going to have a surge probably sometime next year in 2025 where it's going to pump up to six figures. And, and it might happen this year. It's possible it could happen this year. But I think it's going to happen in 2025 where we're going to see six-figure Bitcoin. I don't think it's going to get to $200,000. I'd be very, very surprised, but I drew it because that's a logarithmic chart. I drew it so that it looks like it's almost or hitting around 200,000 or so. 
But the bottom line is after it does its high point, which I think could be around $150,000 or something like that, then it's going to pull back dramatically and get below $100,000 again. And when it does that, when you look at the, at the stock to flow model, it's going to look terrible. It's going to look like a huge gap between that, just as I'm drawing on this chart here. That's when I can officially say that the stock to flow model is dead, when it gets out of its bands, when it gets out of the lowest of all its bands. It's already failed spectacularly on the cross asset model, as you can see right here. It's way off of its mark, and it's going to look even stupider as time goes on, as the Bitcoin price is supposed to be at $5 million, according to that. So that one's failed. That one's debunked. Um, let's look at the uh, what is called the, the the stock to flow, the regular model, according to this particular chart. Here we're, we're off of it. And again, it's predicting a price of $1.2 million. And that should be in the year 20, end of 2025 or so. Good luck with that. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. And, you know, by the way, don't misunderstand me. I would love all this to happen. I would love to have a million dollar Bitcoin by 2025. I just don't think there's a way in hell that's ever going to happen. And that's why the Marvel's going to break. Now, one thing in Bit Plan B's defense is that he did say that he hopes the mark that the stock to flow model will be useful for about two cycles. And in the end, that's probably what it's proven out to be. It's good for two cycles. And now it's going to look ridiculous as time goes on. So that's the message I have for you uh, in this having is that the market, the stock to flow model is not dead yet. It will not be dead for about another year or two. And then I will officially call it dead, dead. And I think everybody will, including plan B. He'll throw in the towel probably in the year 2027 when, or maybe at the, the following having, maybe in 2028. Then in 2028, let's just look at that price here. Hold on. <laughs> $5 million by is that 2029 five million dollars by 2029 and that's when he'll say like this is his most conservative model i said 2029 we'll have a bitcoin of maybe a hundred thousand dollars i made that prediction in 2020 it was very conservative it was a 14x return over the decade and but five million sorry plan b uh, that, that's smoking dope and that's why i've been critique of the, i've been critiquing this model since day one and anyway I hope that's helpful and I'll tune in next year when we're at 2025 and you're going to start seeing the acceleration of the model when the price needs to really push hard to keep up with it. And all of a sudden the divergence is probably going to increase, but it's not going to be readily apparent until I think when we're going to have a bear market in 2026, that's when all of a sudden the, the divergence will, be, will break and not have those two standard deviations whatsoever. And uh, let me just end with my predictions for 2024. I said that Bitcoin would be doubling in value during the year of the halving so that it would go above $80,000 sometime this year, uh, but it probably wouldn't close above $80,000. And I also said that Ethereum, which right now is at $3,000, would end at this magic number of 3333. And that I said the, the Dow would cl climb up uh, 7%. I still think the Dow will correct heavily in sometime in October or so. All right, that's enough of this. And I again want to wish everybody a happy having. It's happening right now, 2024. This is, I'm recording this, it's 11 hours to go, but by the time you see this, it may have already happened. It's France Tapon encouraging you to wander, learn, and stay skeptical about the stock to flow model. It's not gonna last forever. And that ends this episode of the Wander Learn podcast, where we explore travel, technology, and transformation. If you'd like to see the show notes with links to what we've talked about, go to wanderlearn.com and click on this episode. If you'd like to connect with me, just remember F Tapon. That's my first initial and my last name. F Tapon is always my social media username. My website is ftapon.com. Do you want to leave me an anonymous voicemail where you can make a comment or ask a question? Then go to speakpipe.com slash ftapon. Furthermore, if you'd like to get rewarded for supporting my projects, then go to patreon.com slash ftapon. That's where you can pick up some remarkable rewards for as little as $2 a month. Now, five quick favors. Number one, subscribe to the WanderLearn podcast. Two, download it. Three, share it. Four, review it. And five, sign up for my newsletter at wanderlearn.com. Our theme music was composed by Eric Stratman. This is Francis Tapon encouraging you to wander and learn.